Alexa, open the Version Bible. Welcome to your Version Bible. What would you like to hear? Daily devotional. Here's today's devotional. Hello, my name is Olua Darasini Gloria Gomba Oyo, and I'm a member of the Mount Zion Faith Ministries Nigeria. I'm here to present you with the verse of the day. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. Ever wonder why the gospel is called the good news? I'll tell you. From the fall of Adam and Eve, humanity was plunged into darkness. Sin was the order of the day and its wages, death. But when Christ came and died for us, he saved us from the damnation that waited for us by taking our place. He gave us his life and took on ours that was doomed. Humanity finally has a hope, a chance, a new life. Now we have a choice. We have been presented the gift of eternal life by accepting the life of Christ. His life is the light of men that has pierced through the darkness of sin <clears throat> that we were submerged in. Jesus expects us to share this new light to others that are still in darkness, that are still under the yoke of sin and death. To be proclaimers of this new life, by so doing, we will be piercing the darkness the devil has wrapped around them with the light of Christ. We will be releasing the power of the gospel to their world, thereby giving them the hope of a fresh new beginning and new life in Christ. They will experience joy, love, and peace that the world could never give. How great is that? Well, how can this happen if we don't share the good news? As his children, the Lord needs us to answer the call of taking his lights to those still in darkness. A prayer for today. Jesus, thank you for being the light of the world and for giving us hope for an eternal relationship and life with you. Thank you for allowing me to represent you on earth and for giving me the Holy Spirit to help me live a life that honors you. Each day, help me be a light in the darkness and draw others closer to you. Amen. Today's verse is Isaiah 9 verse 2. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. Thanks for listening. Come back tomorrow for a new devotional. So what did you think of that devotional tour? <clears throat> what did you say? What did you think of that devotional? Oh, I thought it was great. You know, we need to um, <clears throat> let our light shine just as Jesus um, just as Jesus let his light shine among other people, you know? Yeah. And <clears throat> um, to them that walk in darkness has seen a great light. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2, you know. Um, we walked in so much darkness um, before we've seen the great light which is which all by means we were told uh, the gospel uh, which is the good news that Jesus gave his self up for us mm -hmm. and yeah it's just it's great <laughs> uh, we were considered to uh, <clears throat> be a great, great light. And because of that, um, we were, you know, we were in darkness before, which is sin, but because Jesus sent his son to die on the cross for us, he gave us eternal life with him, yeah. And like she said on a daily plan, you know, daily devotional, that we are to um, compromise that. And um, 
We're gonna compromise that, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think that's a really great devotional, um, especially when where it says, um, <coughs> those who walked in great darkness have seen a great light, and to them his light shone. Um, but to those who walk in darkness, to them his light shone. Um, that also reminds me of the scripture that comes to mind, which is uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, which says, um, um, Let your light so shine. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works, that they, that people may see that you have God in you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And may may glorify your Father, which is in heaven. So, yeah, that devotional is, is great. It gives us something to reflect on. It gives us something to just tell about Jesus, you know? Yeah. And it gives us just the matchless, um, thing um, yeah it gives us something to reflect on so I hope that that encourages everybody and if you have any comments please leave them in the comments below and please feel free to subscribe whenever you can I know those who are busy don't get a chance to look on channels very much, so um, please, whenever you feel like it, um, just subscribe and support. That's all we ask. We're not a money organization or anything like that. We're non-profit, non-denomination ministries, so um, <clears throat> luckily it's free for me to do these, for us to do these audios slash videos. So, um, <clears throat> we'll see you guys tonight. Want to close this out in prayer, Tara, or you want me to? Mm. You can go ahead and do it. Okay. Father, we thank you for letting your light so shine. Uh, before others to tell of your marvelous works, God. And we just thank you so much for your grace and your mercy and your love and your assurance for us. And God, we just ask that you would just pour out your spirit, Father. You just pour out your spirit among us and pour out your um, grace and your mercy as we go about our day today. Um, we just thank you so much, God, that you are the sustainer. Um, you are the gift of life. Mm. And God, we just ask you to bless us. We ask you to help us. We ask you to touch us. And we just ask that you are with us. We just, we just thank you, Father, for what you're doing. We thank you for who you are. And we ask that you would just guide um, our medical teams, our doctors, nurses, our policemen, our firefighters, our first responders. Um, God, that you would guide them into um, a place where you would want them to work and that you would just help all of us to understand that you are good. In the matchless and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, guys. We'll see you guys for church tonight. I'm sorry we can't play the piano during the day on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. 
Um, but we're going to try to get that issue resolved. <laughs> we're going to try to get that issue resolved. I'm so sorry. Um, I'll talk to the neighbor and see why he needs it quiet during the day. Um, I don't know why his he's hearing the piano keys much. Um, so we're going to try to resolve the issues so that we can play the piano during the day. Because, man, by the time you get... By the time everybody gets home from work, everybody likes it quiet. <laughs> On Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. I mean, I understand he's a cop, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's a digital piano. He should not hear the keys. Um, the neighbor shouldn't be hearing the keys like that. I don't understand what he's hearing. <laughs> I don't understand that. So we're going to try to get that issue resolved, guys. And we're going to try to worship during the day. I'm so sorry. Um, this is our 31 days of prayer. Part 10. And devotional. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for joining. And like I said, feel free to subscribe when you can. And, um... This holiness fellowship meeting. <gasps> mm. So we'll see you guys tonight at church.